Hey guys, this is Aditya and in this video, I'm going to talk about a ROM which is for the OnePlus X or the codename Onyx. So this ROM gets you Android 8 in your phone and uh, this ROM is based on AOSP. So in this video, I'm not going to flash any ROM, like I'm not going to flash the ROM and show it to you because I think most of my viewers know how to flash a ROM. But if you're watching this video for the first time and you want to know how to flash a ROM, how to get a custom recovery in your phone, then make sure you watch the videos in the i button as well as the videos that are linked in the description box down below. So we need to have three things before we get this ROM. So the first thing is the uh, ROM zip file itself, the Android 8G apps and we should also have uh, a custom recovery flashed in our phone. Well, first of all, thanks to this guy who told me about this ROM. Well, I knew it before I was testing this ROM before he told me, but still thanks bro. So now I'm going to talk about this ROM, like the things that I like about this, the things that it gets you and also the things that I don't like and the things that you will probably not like as well. So let's get started with the things that I like. Let me tell you one more thing that I'm going to compare this ROM with the Lineage OS 15 ROM which I flashed in my previous video. So yes, this ROM is very stable as compared to that one. I wouldn't say it is very stable in general, but it is pretty much stable as compared to that one. You will not notice any sudden shutdowns or reboots or uh, restarts, uh, but if you do, if you do experience that, then it is pretty normal. I myself experienced it twice, but then sudden reboots are really fine, and it is a custom ROM, so which is not even at its highest build. So you should not expect stability from a ROM. At least it gets you Android 8.0. I'm sorry for the vibrations if you heard that. All the connectivity like the mobile networks, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth is working really fine. Uh, one thing I did not like about connectivity is that it doesn't have Volti because many, uh, I've has read many articles saying that Android 8 in OnePlus X will get it Volti but this ROM doesn't get it. So you Geo users need to have Geo join application to make calls which is a pathetic thing to do but still you have to do it if you want free internet of course. The ROM is pretty responsive and does perform really well. It comes in with a pretty basic pixel launcher which you would uh, actually find in many uh, custom ROMs which come preloaded with it and it does really work, it does really blend well with the so hardware and it does give you those um, stock Android experience in the OnePlus X. We of course get all the Android 8 features that we expect to come with it like the settings panel change and the user actually the UI has been changed in short and uh, the picture in picture mode does not work I don't know why I tried getting it with various ways but um, it's not working so if you guys come to know how to get the picture in picture mode in this one then do let me know in the comment section down below the ROM also has options to change its icon style like in the previous uh, ROM which is a lineage OS 15 uh, I saw that there was no option of changing the icons like pixel like with Android 8 coming uh, we had we had options for changing the uh, icon shapes which is like circle or square or squeeze circle or some other stuff like that so you can do it in here which I think is a feature of the launcher itself it was not there in the previous one but it is there in this one uh, you cannot set any external icon packs in this or third party icon packs in it uh, like with the uh, stock launcher but if you add any custom launcher of course you can do that the best is the Nova launcher we also get additional uh, customization options in the system UI tuner. This is pretty much same to what we get in most custom ROMs but one thing that I found unique in this one is that we can get the always on display option in this one like if you know that the Google Pixel and the Google Pixel XL come with the always on feature which I found it attractive. It was really a good experience ha uh, having it in here so if you guys like it then you can do it. Some like it some don't it's a personal choice. So if you like it then do make sure to use it. So this ROM is very well optimized as compared to the Lineage OS 15 but it is not as good as the stock Oxygen OS and also the Lineage OS 15. They have Nougat um, but yeah it's not as good as those ROMs. So talking about optimization comes in battery. So the battery in this one will only last for around 3 to 4 hours which is not a good thing and it actually depends on the usage. If you have a heavy usage then 
it can be two and a half hours to three hours or four hours maximum. Uh, according to me, I got around five hours. I'm not I'm not that kind of a heavy user, like not switching between apps for a long time. Even if I do that, half an hour is the maximum time I do, and then I just keep it on charging. So I didn't have that issues. But if you're not a person who like keeps on charging your phone, then this would probably give you around three to four hours. And if you're not a heavy user, then around five to six hours maximum. You won't get more than that. So talking about the features and comparing this ROM with the Linear Zeus 15 is that in Linear Zeus 15 the camera did not work at all, and you must have seen that. If you haven't, then go check that out. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, but in this ROM, the camera does work and it does perform really well. So what happened is that two weeks ago I was running and the phone fell out of my pocket. So the rear camera has been broken and it sometimes get attached to the motherboard. Sometimes it comes out. So I'm not getting a proper test of the rear camera. Also, it is broken. So like, there's no point in um, testing that. But the front camera performs really well and you don't have any problems with that so it does really perform well well no rom is perfect and it does come with some bugs uh, well uh, for i'll give you some examples of the bugs uh, when you have the always on mode enabled uh, uh, what i experienced is that uh, i told you about the pocket mode it automatically gets enabled so I had this always on mode uh, enabled and then I kept the phone in my pocket and after uh, half an hour maybe I pulled out my phone just to see something. So what happened is that the phone didn't turn on. I was tapping the screen and I was also clicking the uh, lock key or the power key but it didn't come on. Then what I did was I just put laid the phone uh, on a table with the proximity sensor above like not covering the proximity sensor rather and uh, what i saw is that after 5 to 10 minutes or a few minutes later when i tapped on the power key or just hit the power key then the display came on that's a bug if you have problems with that then don't go with this one even though all the necessary sensors work they don't work properly or i would say they are not accurate yesterday i had some problems with location like uh, even though i moved from distance a to b it was showing my location at uh, location A or point A which is a problem I had to restart the Google Maps to like just get me to the correct location and also it was the compass sensor was not working like wherever I moved it didn't work so if that's a problem with you don't go with this one so our college provides us with uh, internet but the thing is that most of the sites are blocked and you cannot like use everything that is available on the internet only a few sites uh, are allowed even though some educational sites are also blocked so we use VPN in there uh, so the thing is that VPN doesn't work in here I use Siphon Pro as my third-party application for VPN but what happened is that this menu or the this came up this popped up on my screen and I was not able to tap the OK icon I was able to tap the cancel I, uh, button or the cancel option but I was not able to tap the OK uh, option so if that's a problem with you then don't go with this one the last thing i would say is that the google assistant on this rom doesn't work i didn't try changing the language because i'm really busy my exams are going on but then still it doesn't work for uh, english india and the google assistant doesn't come instead the google now comes which some people find it to be more interesting and uh, more perfect than the google assistant so those who love the Google Now can use this, but if you find yourself using the Google Assistant more, then don't go with this one. So yes, that wraps up with this video. If you liked it, then do give this video a huge thumbs up. If you didn't like it, then hit the dislike button and make feel free to uh, give any constructive criticism or you can give your thoughts in the comment section down below so that I can improve my videos in the near future and not near future, the next video I would improve that. And I hope you like this arrangement. If you didn't like, then tell me. I'll be changing it in the next one. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.